Hi, this is Adam Watson, and I want to talk briefly about uh, editing and uh, changing some options on a particular course for a student in Edgenuity. I've created a Edgenuity First Steps uh, Google Doc, and a lot of the information uh, to kind of get you going is created there. Uh, but a few people have asked about this uh, specifically or variations on, on how to get to this particular place in Edgenuity, so I thought the easiest way to do this would do, do it as a screencast. So, First, just want to point out that uh, where you're going uh, in Edgenuity is students and then manage students in order to pick and find a particular student. Um, so there's multiple ways you can get there or get to that particular student, but I just want to point out that that's in the Edgenuity First Steps Google Doc. Once you select a specific student, you know you've done that successfully when you see here that they have a uh, gold, um, the name is in gold and this new tab has been created to the left of the student tab. And with that, um, you can see here when the student is particularly selected, you can see the courses for that student, which that student is me. The next step is that you have to be able to make sure that you select a particular course in order to do the next step. So especially if there's multiple courses, you want to choose them one at a time, edit those. So this particular course that I've been assigned is chosen here. And over here is edit options. And that's really the main place that I want to point out that may not be as intuitive or feel hidden, that's the place that you want to go once a particular student and then once a particular course has been selected. Once you select that, you can see lots of different things in the course options here that we want to point out. Uh, thresholds for what's considered uh, passing for the assessment, weights of grades. Uh, right now these are all on default settings, I should point out. Um, the big thing here that uh, one or two of you have asked about is the starting date and the target date. If when you created the course or assigned the course, it um, wasn't clear how or where you can change that information, it's under that edit options in here where you can select, change the date, and if you change anything anywhere on these edit options, then you just wanna make sure that at the very bottom, you click submit. If you just exit away or close the tab, whatever the case may be, and do not hit the submit button, then you are going to not have those changes be saved. So do make sure of that. Um, for the sake of argument, real quick, as far as say the target date, uh, the starting date was June 22nd. Target date I want to change. I could edit that and just change it here, or I can go to the calendar function. This will pop up. I could select a new date by toggling through the different months and then clicking on a certain day. It may not be intuitive, but all I'm doing at this point is closing window. But notice that right here, the date changed once I closed the window. And then again, just to make sure, I'm gonna hit submit to make sure that savings changed. Are you sure you wanna edit it? Yes. Okay, back to the courses. And you can see, well, you can't see here as far as the end date, but uh, that information's been edited and changed. So again, find the students, manage the students, select the one you're looking for. With that tab highlighted, you can go into um, all of their courses and edit. You know, once you select this particular one you want to edit, edit options to get to that screen to change dates and some other information. Thank you so much. Hope that helps.